<laughs> what is up YouTube Chess here and today I'm here with Niels. Niels, you went second place in OTS Championship Gosa with which deck? With uh, Branded Despia. Branded Despia, let's go. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, let's check it out then. Okay, so uh, I played three Fallen of Albas. Um, oh, at this sorry, point, right? sorry. Uh, oh sorry. Yeah. No, no, at this point, uh, I think that's pretty standard that, yes, you, uh, that you play three of them. For the Despias, I played uh, three Alubur. It's your best normal summon. Um, yeah. Then played one Tragedy. I think that's standard as well. And one Ad Libitum. That's not really standard. I don't play Gimmick Puppet in the main deck, so I played Adlib instead. It's oh. like a really good end board piece. It makes uh, your board really, really hard to crack. Uh, phenomenal card. Then uh, I played uh, two Cartesias. That's uh, like your best second way to fusion, if your branded fusion gets ashed, for example. And then I played uh, one Quem. One is enough, you can consider playing two, but uh, it comes, sometimes it comes up during the grind, but one usually is enough. Then for the rest of the Albus monsters, I played uh, one Mercurier and one Albion. Mercury is just a negate, it's really good, it's searchable via Branded Lost, and uh, Albion is just an upstart goblin. It fixes some of your bad hands, it uh, fins out your deck, you can dump, uh, usually you dump uh, Branded Retribution, you can also dump Branded Opening to protect your fusion monsters from all the um, destruction effects from the fire decks, it's pretty good. For the Bestials, I just played uh, one Lubellion and one Saronir. Lubellion is just here to place uh, Branded Lost and Saronir, sometimes you need his graveyard effect to send uh, a Branded Spell or Trap so you can get at it back with uh, Branded Retribution. Alright, for the Spice <laughs> in this deck, today I played one uh, Nile Shadow Ariel okay. in the main deck. Um, yeah, you can send uh, El Shadal Upcalone from the extra deck with Kongunyol. Mm -hmm. And Upcalone adds you this and discards it for effect uh, after that. Yeah. And you banish three uh, cards from your opponent's graveyard. So if you, for example, banish three level one fire monsters, you can banish uh, Promethean Princess, you can banish uh, Garunix. It's uh, really good. It's a brick in this deck, but uh, if it comes up, it's really, really good. Then for the hand traps, I played just three Ash Blossom and uh, three Nip. Ash Blossom is really good in this format. Uh, sometimes it's not enough, but uh, yeah, it's the best you can play. And Nip uh, is just a turn ender for certain decks. It's good uh, against fire decks if you combine it with another hand trap. Yeah. That's all the monsters. Then uh, for the spells, I played, of course, free Branded Fusion. Mm. It's the best card in the deck. Yeah. I don't have to explain that. Yeah. For consistency, I played free Branded Lost and free uh, Fusion Deployment. It's just consistency. It specials a monster from the deck. It uh, gives you advantage. Um, sometimes fusion uh, deployment, especially in Fall of Albus, uh, can break an entire board. Mm. That's uh, really, really good. Then for the one-offs, I played one branded last. This card is insane. It's uh, it's so extremely good into so many boards because you can fusion summon uninterrupted. And sometimes if you uh, activate branded lost and normal summon a follow of Albus, you can break an entire board. It's so good. Then um, I played one branded in red. It's part of your end board. Usually you want to target uh, Atlipitum in the graveyard and fusion with it to return the mirror shade. It's a really good card. You can consider um, playing this um, at 2 to dodge targeting effects um, because a lot of uh, decks target Promethean Princess, for example, so you can dodge that. But um, one is fine. Then I played uh, free Thrust, um, one talent. Thrust is just your uh, plan B if your brand fusion gets ashed, going first at least, and you usually place uh, fusion. Deployment, uh, not deployment, duplication. Mm -hmm. So you can play on your opponent's turn. Um, going second, this card becomes really insane because it can add your branded fusion and fusion deployment. Mm -hmm. It's also, re or uh, talent if you need it. If you have everything, you can always just grab talent. 
Then I played one Cold by the Grey and one Foolish Burial. Um, it just get, uh, gets rid of Ash and Foolish Burial. Sometimes you need it as a starter, sometimes you need it as an extender. I don't play the Gold Sarcophagus because um, it banishes uh, the card and usually you search it. Search with Mercurial or with Despian Tragedy, and that uh, really hard runs into Droll and Lockbird. Mm. Foolish Burial uh, doesn't do that necessarily. For the last card, I played one Shadow Fusion in the main deck. Mm. It's uh, in case you go second, it's a Frost Target, and um, you can. Uh, I can show the combo later if, uh, if that's okay. Um, then for the traps, I just played one branded retribution. It's standard. I played three imperm. Sometimes it randomly ends the turn of a fire uh, fire player if you imperm the snake eye ash. It's a good hand trap in this format. And as I showed for the uh, fusion duplication. Good. For the uh, the extra deck is like pretty standard. Uh, it's just uh, two merited, two Albion, one Lubellion. Pretty standard. Uh, then for the other Albus fusions, I played one Rimbrum, one Sanctifier, and one Titanic Cloud. You need these. It, these are really good. The end phase effects of uh, Titanic Cloud usually comes up. Uh, Albion is uh, for uh, doing the puppet lock or protecting you from evenly. Those are pretty good cards. Um, then I played two. Uh, Concunion. In this, usually you only play one, but in this variation of the decks, you usually need uh, two, so you can uh, dump more uh, monsters from the extra deck and the main deck. For the Despia fusions, I just played one Kratos and one Masquerade. Um, yeah, it's just pretty standard to standard to play this, along with uh, one Guardian Chimera. Usually you make this with Branded in red, you draw cards, you get a search with Branded Lost. Uh, it's insane advantage uh, this card generates. And for the last two cards I played one El Shadol Upcalone and one El Shadol Winda. So, um, if you preside, if you go um, second and you have access to, let's say, uh, Triple Tactics Thrust, you can actually search uh, Shadol Fusion and dump uh, Nelshadol Ariel and Despian Tragedy to summon Winda, banish free from your opponent's grave, add Aluber, and after that you normal summon Aluber, uh, get the Branded Fusion, and then, yeah, if your Branded Fusion resolves, you just fusion summon with the Winda and uh, an Albus from deck uh, for Mirror Jade. Ah. And you leave this in grave and try to make Sanctifier so you can revive this card in your opponent's draw phase. Yeah. It's a really neat combo. Um, it didn't come up. It, um, I could have done it today, but uh, it wasn't necessary in uh, near of the games. Maybe I'm gonna cut this. Uh, Azrael Upcalone is your best board breaker against the uh, Fire King decks. Um, yeah. You just send uh, two Shadows and uh, rip apart the entire board. For the side deck, I just played uh, free Draw and Lockbird from, for the combo decks. Manadium is a thing. I played uh, free Dimension Shifter for the fire decks. Mm, yeah, this card is just a turn ender usually, and um, yeah. It's a really dumb card, should be banned, but um, it's not, so I'm gonna play it. <laughs> I play uh, free Cosmic Cyclone for back row removal. Uh, Anti-Spell is on a lot of uh, people's side deck and Branded really uh, loses to uh, Anti-Spell, so you just get rid of this with this one. I played two Dark Ruler. It's uh, primarily for the, uh, s for the pure Snake Eye decks with the Negates, so you can play a little bit better into uh, this import. Then I played the, the rest of the Shadow package. Two uh, fusion, two more fusion, and one Shadow Dragon. Mm. Yeah. Post side, you make up Cologne with Ariel and uh, Shadow Dragon. You destroy the Fire King Island. You negate the um, the Sanctuary with up Cologne, so it cannot protect the island, and you banish uh, free cards from your opponent's graveyard. It's really good into the fire decks. Didn't come up today, but um, in testing it was really really good. And the last card inside deck, it's, uh, just, it's just a gimmick puppet. <laughs> <laughs> if you play against a deck that doesn't uh, uh, play a lot of hand traps, uh, you can side it. 
I don't think it's the play against the uh, fire decks because they run up to like 15 hand traps and yeah. usually uh, the puppet lock doesn't get through. But against deck, you that don't play many hand traps. It's really, really good. Nice. All right, that's everything. It's uh, 45 cards main deck and uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Solid profile. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to do any shout outs? Yeah, uh, shout outs to uh, Noah who came uh, uh, here with me today. And shout outs to Betim who uh, left with me the, the Shadow package. He uh, convinced me to play this. Um, yeah. And I'm probably going to play this in the future. So uh, thank you guys. Nice. Hey, congrats on second place. Thank you very and much. Have a nice day. Yeah. See ya.